I want to talk to you about why your credit improvement efforts are not working. Um, so many times, um, you may or may not know my name is Shannon. I'm a licensed realtor. I'm also a certified credit counselor. I specialize in helping credit challenge individuals become mortgage ready. If you are having issues with your credit and you are not able to get qualified for a mortgage, you're not able to get qualified for credit cards, you can't get credit, credit qualified for bank accounts, you just are like, you just can't. There's No matter what you do, nothing is happening. Then two to three things that you can do. First thing, if you're going to repair your credit, improve your credit, correct your credit, update your credit, <laughs> then you need to make sure that one, that you know how to read a credit report and that the information that you're going to correct is going to be worth correcting. Sometimes you're looking at your credit report and you might not like the way that an um, account looks. It might be like a super old debt. It could be anything. You just might not like the way that it looks as a consumer, but it might not matter if you dispute it. You might dispute it and it could cause your credit uh, score to go down because it was inactive and disputing it made it active. You may dispute it and it was um, something that no longer was reporting in a way that was going to impact you. Meaning it might almost be close to the end of the, the time frame or it might be over the statute of limitation for where you live and it wasn't impacting you in that way. And now that you've done it, it triggers for your credit report to um, start to report. Okay. So you want to make sure that one, you know what you're looking at. Two, you know what you're looking for. And three, you know the reason behind why you're disputing the item that you see that you just don't like. Just because it's there doesn't mean that it's enough of an issue to to dispute. Just keeping it 100 <laughs> with you guys. Um, the second thing is, is if you're going to do these things with your credit, then you need to make sure that while you're disputing these items, that you're also building credit. If you're going to dispute your credit report and you're not going to build any lines of credit, or if you're like... I have, um, I don't have anything on my credit report, but I don't have any, um, my credit score is still low. It's because you're not showing that you can do anything with your credit. The only way that a lender is going to be able to give like a true assessment of your ability to pay bills is if you are actually practicing paying bills. When you have credit cards, when you have different lines of credit, you are showing them that if you loan me money, then I'm going to be a, doing, I'm going to do a good job at paying this back. So in order for you to establish credit, you have to owe somebody. I don't care what anybody tells you. You got to owe somebody in order to establish credit. Okay. If you have under a 600 credit score, then you're going to want to find credit products that can work for you um, based off of your credit history. So if your credit history is not all that great, you're going to want to find uh, products. You have under 500, under a 600 you know, there's some credit lines that's just not going to, you're not going to be able to qualify for un for a regular um, unsecured credit line. I'm going to tell you about three that I know of that can help you just off the break. If you can't get qualified for a regular credit card, that means that you have to pay to play or else you have to start somewhere, meaning you're going to have to put more money out of pocket in order for you to grow what it is that you're trying to do. The first one is going to be Self Lender. I know you've probably heard of it before. Self Lender is a great um, program. It can help you if um, you're not great at using credit cards. With Self Lender, what it does is you have a choice to, um, they get a CD, a certificate of deposit, and for a certain amount. So we're going to use the most minimum amount that they allow, which is a $500 CD. And if you choose to pay $25 a month over the course of two years, at the end of that time, you'll save the $500 or you'll get that back plus interest. Okay. So that's a $25 way that you can build credit if you're not usually approved for things because your credit score is below a 600. That's also going to help you if you're new to trying to build credit. Okay. So that's $25. I want y'all to cycle this through with me so that you don't know how to start building your credit today for yeah under under three hundred dollars and that's how much you would pay for a secure card if you go to a local bank the second thing that you want to do is you want to get a credit builder card there is actually a card called a credit builder card if you sign up for it then and you're approved then it will help you build your credit what that says is, is you're going to put down two hundred dollars because that's all that it is 
and as you use it responsibly, then they're going to report it positively for you. It's called a credit builder card because you're putting money down on it in order to build your credit line. You're securing it with your own money. So you're taking away the risk of you being approved. Credit builder card. That's $200 plus the $25 from self lender. Now, here's the thing. If you're denied for self lend for self uh, lender, you'll probably also be denied for credit builder card. Why, Shannon? Because they run in the same circle. That's just the way that it goes. If you owe First Premier, you're probably not going to be able to get a, a secure card with a credit builder card because you owe First Premier. Um, if you owe other banks, like if you have closed bank accounts like Westfis, uh, PNC, Wilmington Trust, whatever your bank is, if you have bank accounts on your credit report <clears throat> where you owe money, you may not qualify for a self-lender or credit builder card. And the reason being is banks are not going to lend you good money after bad, meaning you didn't do so hot the first go round, so now you're trying to make up for it. You're going to have to fix that issue before they give it to you. So we're just using this as if you are able to get qualified. So that's $25 for self lender. <clears throat> Excuse me. That's 200 for credit builder card. Both of those are going to report within the first 30 days. On average, I've seen anywhere from 30 to 70 point increase on those. So those are two lines of credit that you can get right now. We're up to $225. Okay, that's just to get you started. The third line of credit that I recommend um, that I have knowledge of, and there's more on my webpage, but there's Hutton Chase. And what it says is, or OX Publishing, they both do the same thing. They specifically help people who are credit challenged, meaning your credit is shot. Like somebody shot it, ran over you with a bus, and then backed up, shot. <laughs> okay, it's shot down. They're going to approve you because they specifically help people who have poor credit. That's what they do. Now, if they don't approve you, that's up to them. Again, I'm not giving you a 100% guarantee. I'm just telling you products that I know that can help you and open up credit karma or whatever it is that you want to look at and seeing that your credit score is going up. Who wouldn't want that? It doesn't make sense to want to do better. And then when somebody's telling you what you can do to do better, you don't want to do it. Okay, if you want it, do it. So if you do it today, products report within the first week or within the first two weeks. So it's going to give you a quick turnaround. So what, what Hutton Chase does, get off my soapbox, I'm sorry. What Hutton Chase does is it's going to approve you for a credit line of $1,500. It's kind of like um, Finger Hut, but not quite Finger Hut. You don't have to, you know, go through all that. But it'll give you $1,500 line of credit. You can purchase products or you can... Um, do the option where <clears throat> you can participate in the platinum savings thing. And so basically what it'll say is, is if you start today, it's like $60. You have two options. You can either pay 210 straight, which will put you at a little hot, just under $500, but higher than three. Or you can do the options where you pay $60 today. And then every month thereafter, you pay like 30 to 35 and it will report this as a positive line of credit. So that's three lines of credit that you can get to build your credit. But you want to be in a position where your credit is okay then. Understand that when the lenders are looking at you to qualify you for a mortgage, they're looking for longer lines of credit. So the sooner you start, the better. So you have $25 self lender, $200 credit builder, $60 for um, <clears throat> Hutton Chase. So that's under $300. And you're going to go ahead and start to build your credit. If you are one of those people who want to uh, buy during the summer or when your kids get out of school or when it's warmer, you'll be ready to qualify for some things by May. Now, understand there's going to be other things you're going to have to couple with that, like savings, um, you know, making sure that the items on your credit report, you know, as we discussed in the first part of this video, are accurate, but those are the things that you need to do to position yourself so you can be successful with your homeowner journey. In order for you to qualify, yes, you can do it with a 580. FHA is typically 580, but why just make it when you can position yourself to like blow it out the water? You know what I mean? I'd rather you have and prepare yourself and put yourself in a position to have the higher credit score than to just be making it and possibly get that call when you're almost ready to close that, hey, <clears throat> excuse me, you're not quite where 
You got to be. I just really want to help you guys, you know, get what you need. So if you feel like, man, Shannon, this is over my head. <laughs> I don't want to do that. <laughs> cool. That's fine. I have an ebook that's called Pathways to Home Ownership. It will help you with learning how to read your credit report. It's going to tell you um, how to establish these lines of credit. It's going to tell, it's going to include you sample letters for you to send off. And it's affordable. It's really affordable. So I'll post the link. Um, it's a one-time thing. It has uh, five template letters for you to send. If you um, see issues in your credit report, we teach you the difference between Vantage score and FICO score. We explain to you why your credit score is not increasing. You're going to get everything. I'm just giving it to you in that book because I want to see more of you guys achieve. You're not living the best life that you can live. Everybody was screaming last summer, I'm living my best life, but no, <laughs> you weren't. <laughs> you know what I mean? I, I want to see y'all thrive. I want to see you get there. You can get that book and it's like 29. You can't beat that. You tell me somebody who's going to tell you who's, who's a professional at credit improvement, who's going to give you the steps that you need to build your credit and the exact blueprint to A to Z to teach you how to correct and improve your credit and grow it. Again, my name is Shannon. Um, I specialize in helping credit challenge individuals become mortgage ready by educating you on credit education, financial literacy, and then helping you to understand the process of home ownership so that you can go on to be a homeowner uh, within a year. You can do it. <laughs> you can do it. Trust me, you can do it. It might feel like it doesn't matter what your circumstances, what you're going through. It might feel hard right now, but you can do it. You know, if you're seeing this video, then this could be your, your opportunity to be like, you know what? I can do it. And this is what I need to do in order to do it. So you guys have a great one. Thank you for joining me on the video. Like my page again, Shannon Payton, Century 21, Home Team Realty. Thanks.